When it seems like you have lost control And you feel like, feel like you're alone When you lost something worth fighting for Do you take it, take it as a low? All I need is another chance to get back up and make amends outfit feeling the little red kind of berry color a little bit today and then of course i have a white sports bra and i put like this little top on top of it and i had it like down this way look but you could kind of see the sports bra underneath i thought it was kind of looking a little funny so i was like okay let me just you know crop it in here it just came off really cute but yeah i really like this leggings these are for my protein and they're called i believe it's the curve collection so it's like really fitting your figure really nicely and obviously in the back as well so yeah i would definitely highly recommend if you are looking to get some cute gym outfits and are trying to restock these leggings is definitely my recommendation and i also really like that it's like such a thick waistband as well i am actually thinking about doing a haul very soon because my person have gotten so many new like outfits and new collections so i am thinking about making a haul but yeah that's today's outfit and of course the sock as well i don't think my socks are matching today like it's two of the same ones so i just kind of put the brand in the back i always do this so naturally i didn't really think to like film it i don't think you guys have ever seen this angle of my apartment but that's my workstation my little at home gym my little table as you guys know i recently just moved in here and i'm not really trying to get too many furnitures because i've already been living here for two and a half months now and i will be moving out by the end of the lease so i'm not really trying to get like a whole bunch of furnitures but as i was trying to say i always film this off camera obviously after my breakfast i need my vitamins but i feel like i should kind of show you guys what i usually take every morning so as we were just talking about my protein i literally take all my vitamins from my proteins brand this one i really like which has calcium magnesium zinc and vitamin d3 this one is just an immune blend these are really good i was so sick back to back when i first moved probably because of the stress and after i started taking these i have not been sick since i was literally sick back to back three times for literally three weeks straight i was almost sick but since i've taken these i have not <laughs> yet gotten sick and obviously you make it three then these are especially for my women the cranberry extract as well as the vitamin c and e and as i was trying to knock off all that sickness i kept having as well i also took this 100 vitamin c and some water every day i don't take this every day anymore but i did when i was really sick and it's also really good to take a while uh, you're sick as well as it has a lot of antioxidants as well but i probably should take this every day as well with my vitamins actually a really good idea is probably to put this in your water and then drink your vitamins with this water in it or with this in your water <laughs> and if you're interested in getting any of these vitamins for yourself i will be linking them down below i'm not a gatekeeper so if you need to improve your health i would highly recommend to Get any of these to take in your daily morning routine. Hmm, what color are we feeling? Probably the purple. I've already been drinking my water out of this blue water bottle. I pretty much have one in every color except for this red tone. And I really like to, <laughs> I really like to match my water bottle with my outfit. So maybe I should get that. But obviously, also have to take my energy drink with me to the gym. I'm about to go work out. I don't know if I mentioned that, but I'm about to go work out. It is very windy today. It looks like it's about to rain at any moment. I would show you, actually, I guess I can show you a little bit of my outsides. But as you can see, it's very windy today. I know. So I should probably bring an umbrella, but I know I haven't really been doing a proper intro to this video, but I am doing a full day of eating today for you guys. 
just like a very realistic one i'm not as you guys may know i'm all for the quick and easy meals i'm not trying to stay in the kitchen all day basically what you guys will see is obviously healthy eating but make it easy and simple but as i was saying i'm about to go to the gym i do have to film like a real workout for my instagram i will try to get some footage as well on uh my camera as well that is horizontal because as you guys know when you film for instagram it kind of has to be vertical so hopefully the gym i'm crossing my fingers hopefully the gym is not too crowded today so i can get both horizontal and vertical in case i don't you can check out the workout as well on my instagram and make sure to follow me on instagram if you don't already and with that said i think we should just head over to the big city the big apple <laughs> and go work out i know you don't mean to but you're blocking my view i know you got issues but i got my shit too And welcome to this video's voiceover. We are starting with some conventional deadlifts, a hinge movement, which means we are targeting those glutes straight from the start. I started out with two sets of eight reps, pretty much just rubbing it out, and then I finished with three sets of one rep max. Following exercise, I did some hyper extensions also for the glutes these are actually so great and I'm always ending up feeling them in my hamstrings as well i do want to say it helps to tuck in your pelvis a bit to feel it more in your glutes and i pretty much did a drop set where i ripped out with the weight and then i dropped the weight and finished off with another two to three reps before resting it is no secret that I'm very glute dominant, so lately I have really been working on my quads as well. So here we are doing a pretty intense drop set on the leg press. So pretty much I did 10 reps with a pretty high amount of weight. Then I lowered the weight and did another 8 reps, really just pushing through, making sure my toes are also really pointed outwards so I can really target my quads. And then I lowered the weight again and did another six reps to count for just one set. And I did this three times. And you would think this would be enough for my quads, but no, even though I placed my feet really low on the leg press, I still felt it in my glutes very much so that I decided I wanted to do some leg extensions as well. I also did a drop set here where I started with eight reps of the highest weight and then went down to six reps and then four to complete one set. Lastly, I finished up with some cable kickbacks for the glutes, obviously, really to shape my glutes more like a shelf unit because eventually I do want to put books on there. Just kidding, but this is just such a good buffer at the end of your workout after all of your compound movements to finish off with a nice glute burn. Hey, <laughs> you hungry? Me too. It was so windy outside, but I got Chipotle. I feel like Chipotle is the perfect post-workout meal because you can pretty much customize it exactly how you want it. If you want it protein packed or if you want more fat or more just carbs, it's all there. And let me show you guys what I got. So this is what my Chipotle order usually looks like. So I got brown rice, chicken, then I got lettuce, cheese, sour cream and guac. And yes, I did both get sour cream and guac. Obviously, I got the chicken because of the protein, but people seem to forget that in dairy, just like cheese or sour cream, there's actually a lot of protein in it as well. So this makes up for like the perfect post-workout meal. Straight in the muscle. It is later in the day, it's dinner time. 
It is uh, so hot here actually. It's actually really hot today. I thought it was gonna rain or like be some sort of like thunderstorm. It was kind of prepping for it throughout the day, but nope, not today. Anyways, we are going to have dinner. The thing is that I didn't really eat my Chipotle from earlier. I just, when it's really hot, I just don't really have as much of an appetite, which is today, which is kind of unfortunate because I'm literally filming what I eat in the day video today, but it just shows the realness of it, I guess. I did not finish my Chipotle. I finished half of it, I would say. And it was also a really big portion. I do want to say that as well. I do find that today, I just don't have as much of an appetite. I usually eat a lot more than this. So for dinner, I think we're going to have rainbow trot like a fish with some of these baby Bella mushrooms, you know, I'm gonna eat myself. Just kidding. And then I also got these seasoned Brussels sprouts from Trader Joe's that I really need to cut today before it's too late. So I'm probably not going to have any carbs just because of one, I'm not really that hungry. So I'm making this to basically show what I would eat and I will definitely also eat this. But I could also just finish the day with eating the rest of my Chipotle, but that would kind of be boring. With that said, let's get some fish in the system. I think this guy wants to eat something too. So I'm gonna feed the cats and then I'm going to make some food as well. I'm not gonna lie. This is a lot more vegetables than I anticipated. So what I'm gonna do is that I'll probably just serve myself half of this today and then eat the other half tomorrow. Just because there's no way I'm gonna eat all these vegetables today, but they do need to be cooked today. And then I'll basically do like a meal prep for tomorrow as well. So this is the fish that we're having today, rainbow trout fillets. So obviously I have one big fillet down there. I just washed it. Still needs a lot of seasoning, guys. Uh, but yeah, this is basically what I'm getting. I'm getting them from Trader Joe's and I really like them because they are boneless as well. Boom. Okay, ready to be put in the air fryer. There we go. Oh, by the way, I got a new air fryer as well. The other one was just too overused. I had it for, I don't know, like a couple years. Oh, look, another Bella Pro Series. Another Bella thing. And that right there is dinner. Look how much vegetables that was. That's a whole pile of vegetables. And there's still, I would say about half left, maybe a little bit less, but almost. Delicious. I might see you guys later if I have snack, most likely. I always have snacks, but I guess we'll see because I'm pretty full and I'm having dinner. <laughs>